Well, I'm on my way to the van. Um, La Cienega. I, I don't know what kind of hands I'm in here with my van. Look, just to give you an idea, the guy told me that the part that I wanted was going to cost 500 bucks. He gave me the phone number to the guy. 2651, okay. He gave me the phone number to the guy that had the part that was locating the part, and the guy found the part for me for 270 bucks. And all it is is a shifter cable. That's it. $270 for a shifter cable. So, um, we're going to find out how he's doing with the van. The van is here. How are you, sir? How you doing, Mike? What's this? My wife has the cash. <laughs> How's my van doing? On the bottom you have freeze plugs. The freeze plugs, yeah, right. Yeah, Clary told you you have a lot of freeze plugs leaking in yes. there. Yes. They are leaking. We cannot drive the car right now because we have to disconnect the transmission linkage. Yes. And right now on the transmission, we can actually put it in park and put it in drive. Okay. So we cannot check the brakes. Larry said you have a problem in the brake. The brake pedal sticking. Oh, yeah, it does. But you can't check that yet we either. We don't know anything about it. All right. Basically, it's right not a big, I mean, it's... It's always stuck a little bit, but it, it you pump it a little bit, it comes back up. Okay, it, I don't, yeah. Well, you take a look at it for is, me, will right you? Right now, is, we're waiting for the cable. Okay. And we need to get an okay for shifter, for the freeze plugs. You can do the freeze plugs now. I'll, I'll okay that. Okay, so we need your... Uh, yeah, sure. Hi. How are you guys? Very good. Fine. You think she's going to make it cross in the country? Oh yeah. She will make it? Oh yeah, this is good car. I love her. This is a very good. I'm doing a TV show across country, you know. Oh yeah? Going to little towns. This is the only city I'm in because I had to have it shipped here. Just little towns and back roads of America. Okay. On the front end, you probably got used to where it runs, but it's extremely loose. And we got in the car, we hear a little bump, it scared the hell out of us. Oh really? The guy did not, I had to drive the car because the guy did not drive the car. He said, he, he's afraid he's going to lose control over it. Now Mr. Gabbard comes to... The lady got you. I will, no, no, I will give you a Come, give me, I will tell you exactly. Let me ask you this line. Oh, Gary? Oh, hi there. What's that? It's going to cost cars a little. are very expensive. Oh, Aren't they? When, when they go, it's time to spend a little money, unfortunately. Well, it's not no problem. Thank you for to get a new one. So don't forget. Well, why don't you get a new one? Well, I was thinking about it. Trade, trade in that one and get yourself a new one. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Um, we got it now. Yeah. I have an uh, eye problem, and I don't know whether I'll be driving too much longer. Oh, is that right? Because I don't put too much money into it. This, That's right. This pump That's is right. not good. If you don't grow, it's not broken. That's going to be kind of tough to lose your, you know, when that, kind, if that time comes, oh, isn't it? Goodness. I came over here on the bus. I had to change three times. Did you? I don't care for those buses. No. But what you need is a chauffeur. On the bottom, I can't tell you if it's on the bottom. Complete scamming, $1,308. But first you gotta take care of the towers and the houses. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but that's a lot of work. Yes. And that's it. Everything else on the problem is shared. Thank you very much. A lot of work was done to it. I haven't had it for 20 years. Well, there you go. I've had all the good service on it. That's good. I don't know what I'll do. I'm just hoping it makes it across country, Mike. Cross country, yeah. Yeah, I'm putting. I'm going to be crossing the country, probably putting 12,000 yes. miles on this thing in the you next three months. You can make it. You think so? Yes. Oh, good. What is important? Easy transmission. That's right. They seem like nice guys. They seem like nice guys. We'll get the bill and then we'll let you know. We're going to try to meet a, a starlet. A wannabe Hollywood person who wants to be a star. Woo! That'll be fun, huh? Uh, I'm gonna get, get back to my table and this man is like, I keep the, I keep the uh, flies off there for you. <laughs> they so diligently waving this. It was so cute. Oh, thank you. 
So what Talk to me about this stardom thing that you're on, <laughs> this quest to be a star. I'm not on a, I'm actually, I'm not on a quest to be a star. I'm on a quest to just find, well, I don't know, just to, to find, well, no, just to, to, to make a living as an actress. I don't, I well, don't, that's a quest. Yeah, but it's not to be a star. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You want to make a living doing yeah. what what you like doing. Yeah. And so what are you doing in the, in the way of making that happen? Classes. Um, I'm, as soon as I get new headshots, I think I'm going to audition more often. I haven't mm -hmm. really done a lot of auditioning. Um, um, actually, was born here. It, yep, was born here, but raised in Minnesota. Oh, you've got a little Minnesota accent. Do Captain. I? No. <laughs> I'd noticed it. Everybody says it. Good for you. Yeah. Do you have family still out here? Uh, yeah. Uh, aunt. But I... My parents divorced when I was young, so I really don't, really don't know, know them at all. But I moved out here by myself. It really matters what your um, what your zip code is and what your phone number is. So if, if you're living in the valley, as far as I was, I mean they don't even. I send out headshots and things, and nobody contacts you. I mean you can't. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so now I've got a good zip code. <laughs> good. It's well, the traffic is so bad. You don't know. Nobody will. They can't count on you. No, yeah, you never know. Gotcha. You never, it's like unpredictable. So I don't know. Now I'm going to start probably trying to get. I need to get new headshots, and then as soon as that's done, I'm going to contact the um, the what is? It? Well, he's not really a. Yeah, he is an agent um, who said that he wanted to represent me. He, he said, did. He said that. Yeah. How does he know he wants to represent yeah, you? Yeah, right, exactly. He's never seen you exactly. act? Oh. Exactly, so it's probably just total crap. I'm actually very close to the action. I live in um, Griffith Park. It's um, Madonna lived in Griffith Park. I mean, I have a very nice apartment uh, building. I have a studio that, it, I mean, if I was in Minnesota for what I pay for rent, I'd be buying a house. Do you have a, a certain date that mm -hmm. you've set? What? Yeah. I'm going to pay off my car like the next two months, and then I'm going to get my my new headshot. One um, thing is commercials and commercial strategies and images do change and evolve. And a, a new pattern is that they go for the average looking person. That's kind of the, the, the average. I mean, yeah, for certain products they have obviously the beauties and the. But even you know, and even if I'm just commercial I make one or two commercials a year sit on the beach like, that's okay I'm okay with that you know I mean I'd like to I you know if acting is you know what I end up doing in the community theater it's what I do in the community theater and I do a commercial and then I sit on the beach for another second you know or travel that's where would that I'd community be community theater yeah where would that you know, community oh, yeah oh, sure here in California. oh you would you're, yeah. you're, your plan is not to oh, you didn't no. come out here to see if you'd make it and then go, no. if it don't make it, go back to Minnesota. No, I was thinking, you know, when I when I was moving out here and people who I didn't know very well and they thought it, really, some of them thought I lost it. They were like, wow, <laughs> you know? And they were writing me, like, and calling me, you know, when I moved out here and, the, you know, obviously I'm fine. It's just that they were very concerned. But anyway, um, no, um, it's an adventure. That's what I told them. You no, know, hey, you know, I'm bored. I need an adventure. Tom Cruise. You saw him here? Yeah. No, no, no. I saw Tom Cruise on the freeway. <laughs> on the freeway? Must have been. He was merging on the freeway, dialing his cell phone. He was what was like he driving? a crazy man. He was just driving like a nut. Was he? What was he driving? Yeah, I don't know. Very nice. I think it was a, I think it was a Mercedes. That's the car. Yeah, but he was dialing the phone as he was merging in the traffic. Is that psycho? Did he have a, what, a, a convertible? Uh, no, I could see, because I was coming right next to him. I looked right into his car. Like, Did he look over at you and give you that Yeah, he has this huge grin. smile. Yeah, he's like, yeah, Did he really? crazy. Yeah, because it's like, with the freeway he was merging onto, like, there's like, no way you should even be talking on the phone. That's great. Yeah, it was funny. He's like, yeah, I know you think I'm nuts. <laughs> he just kept <laughs> Great.